Hey everybody, it is Chris. It is Wednesday, August 28th. I am coming to you from the heart of corporate America. Actually, it's just an office space I sometimes use. Um, so I don't have my fancy setup and my microphone, but just stick with me. I always want to bring you a video, so I'm doing it however I can. All right. On Tuesday, yes, aka yesterday, Donald Trump went to Arlington National Cemetery to honor the 13 uh, military members killed in a suicide bombing in Afghanistan as the U.S. was pulling out of the country. Um, he has used this as a talking point throughout the campaign uh, as a way to say that Joe Biden, that it was the most embarrassing day in U.S. history, that Biden botched it, that um, lives were lost that didn't need to be lost and would never have been lost under uh, a president, Donald Trump. Okay, so he goes there to honor them with some of their family members to lay a wreath. Um, and you would think, okay, like, fine. But what winds up happening is either an incident or an altercation or whatever. You, I don't know how we want to describe it. The New York Times called it an altercation. I think the Trump campaign is calling it an incident. I think Arlington National Cemetery called it an incident. But here's what we know happened. The Trump campaign was trying to shoot some footage for the campaign in an area of uh, Arlington National Cemetery that federal law says you cannot shoot footage in. Um, an official at Arlington National Cemetery made that point to the Trump campaign and I think got into at least a verbal spat, we don't know all the details, but a verbal spat with members of the Trump campaign. Um, the Trump campaign has called for that person to be fired. Chris Lasavita, one of the top strategists of the Trump campaign, has called it a disgrace, the person a disgrace. Um, and the Trump campaign has noted that they had permission to be there as a campaign from the family members of the fallen soldiers from Afghanistan. Okay. The point here, I mean, this is a little bit of a he said, he said conversation, but the point here that I want to make is chaos follows Donald Trump. Always has, always will. I think that one of the most insightful things ever said about Donald Trump was said by, yes, Jeb Bush back in the 2016 presidential race. And what Jeb Bush said at that point was he is a chaos candidate and he will be a chaos president. That is 100% accurate. It was remarkably visionary of Jeb Bush. That, that is exactly what Trump is, has been, and will be, a chaos candidate and a chaos president. Now, I would argue chaos is not what you want out of a president. Uh, because you want stability and you want our allies to know where we stand and our enemies to know where we stand um, and the people of the country broadly to know where we stand. Many Trump supporters would say chaos is actually a good attribute that people are, uh, they don't know what's coming next from Trump. They, um, they never can sort of plan. He's always got them uh, not on the right foot and that gives us a competitive advantage and a negotiating advantage. Okay, I, I mean, I, I understand that logic. I don't agree with it. But I just think, like, this episode, it's a small thing, but it illustrates a big thing, which is chaos always follows Trump. From a cemetery visit to a campaign rally to January 6th to wanting to buy Greenland from Iceland, there's always chaos. There's always churn. There's always turnover in his senior staff. There's always controversy. There's always questions of whether he's making money off of his political uh, uh, position. It's just chaotic. There's tweets. There's true social posts. There's interviews. There's, there's just content, 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 right? There's chaos, 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 chaos. I do not think that is a good thing, and I think that this episode at Arlington National Cemetery is reflective of what you're going to get if Donald Trump winds up being president again. Now, again, for some people, particularly his most ardent supporters, that's a good thing. They like the chaos. For me, I think the chaos is not a good thing. I think it is not good for our overall well-being as a country. I don't think it's great for how we stand in the world. There's always going to be something with Trump, some controversy, some disagreement, some uh, episode, some confrontation, some threat. Uh, it just comes with the package. You don't get him without it, right? He equals chaos. And for me, 
that's not a good thing. All right, that's it for me today. As always, I ask you to do four things. I ask you to subscribe to this channel. Easy, hit, on, hit the subscribe button. I ask you to like this video. Again, hit the thumbs up. I ask you to comment on this video. Do it for the algorithm. And I ask you to tell 10 friends. Um, it's not going to get any less crazy between now and the election, so make sure you are following. I will keep you up to date with what matters and why it matters every day on this YouTube channel. Easy for me to say. All right, everybody. Take care.